right, so check this out. This is really cool. Uh, what you're looking at is a laser synthesizer uh, for Windows or Mac. There's also a Mac version of this program. It's cross-platform. Um, it's written in Mac's MSP, and it's really cheap. It's only like 30 bucks. And uh, what it does, basically, it works just like a synthesizer, but you're basically outputting these wonderful spirograph-like shapes uh, that you can output with a laser projector if you have an interface. Um, or, for example, right now, the way I have it, you can see it, you know, you can see a real-time video output of what the laser uh, synthesizer is doing. So you have six oscillators, a bunch of LFOs, some color-picking stuff, and then as you can see, there's knobs everywhere, so you can kind of, you know, change what's going on. I'll run through some presets here so you can kind of see, you know, the things, the kind of things that look at. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. So the cool thing, like I was saying about this thing, is that uh, you can output uh, this uh, video in real time to a VJ application through Spout. So you can use this as a real-time video synthesizer because it's fully MIDI mappable, I and mean, I think it's got some presets for APC40s in there. So right off the bat, if you've got an APC40, you can map it to this thing on the fly and do all sorts of real-time animation stuff that you can fire into your VJ application in real time and then treat that further and map that all over the place, include that in your shows. Uh, that's really cool because you can create kind of like with instruments like this, you can kind of create VJ band type of things where you can have multiple monitors and two or three guys around the same VJ station and they're all playing these like instruments and then, you know, one guy is basically the mixer guy. So that's a really cool thing. You should check this out if you're a VJ. Um, it also gives you the ability to save video files of what's going on. And you can also save ILDA files. I mean, obviously, laserists are going to love this thing. Uh, I do. I mean, I want to use it with my lasers. But I think VJs should really check this out because it's cheap and it's really cool. It's a cool, you know, pattern generator that you can mess with. So uh, I'll put the link in my uh, post. Uh, this guy's got it on a gaming site right now, which is a really strange thing. But it's cool. And it, and it runs really well. Like I said, it's a Max MSP kind of app, but it's standalone. Uh, it doesn't seem to hog resources anyway, right? It seems pretty chill. So uh, give it a shot.